uh, gag grouper, that is. Uh, there's been a ton out there on those near shore ledges, 50 to 70 foot of water. Yeah, if we're, if we're doing anything trolling wise, um, you know, it's just dragging some pogies for some kings. Big Spanish mackerel, you know, all the way up to like eight, nine pounders. You're hunting a bigger trout, you know, I suggest, you know, trying to chunk a top order early in the morning. Anytime the air temperature really pulls down on the water temperature, like it did last couple nights, uh, it fires things off. Because the trout, they're predatory, they need the current to feed. So they're going to be eating on one side or the other. Uh, moving on to the near shore bite, man, just phenomenal. I mean, around the inlets uh, in the evening, it's been really good. Whether that be a pencil popping cork or a oval popping cork with a jerk shad underneath it has been what I've seen been the best bite. And we finally, this past week, got to see some of that, that awesome transitional speckled trout action. I find that we catch more fish where, where, there's a, where there's a drop off. It seems like the trout like to kind of lay right at the bottom in the deeper water and they wait for that bait to run off the shallow water. Popping, corking, drifting across grass flats. This is Billy over at Fisherman's Post, and thank you so much for checking out our highlights reel from this week's fishing report. Wanted to let you know that you can sign up right here at fishermanspost.com slash members. This is a question we get often is, hey, I enjoy the highlights, but how do I sign up to get the whole hour worth of content? And that's how you do it, fishermanspost.com slash members. If you have any questions or trouble logging in or, or accessing any of that, just reach out to us, and we will be sure to help you out.